G'day, Wombat here, and in today's beginner series, we're going to try and make your crappy little amp sound better. So, you've now had your little guitar pack that you bought for a while, and it's not particularly inspiring. It doesn't sound great. You've replaced your lead, but it still doesn't sound real good, and it doesn't make you want to pick up and... and play your guitar. So what can we do about that? Well, the first thing we can do is replace the amp, but you can't really afford to. Amps can be expensive, and you're just looking for a way to make your little amp that you've already got just sound a little bit better. Well, we can do something about that. So the first thing we can do is we can buy a pedal to go in front of your amp and make it sound better. So we buy a pedal, and it depends on what kind of music you're playing as to what kind of pedal you want. I would recommend an overdrive pedal or a distortion pedal because chances are the sound on your amp is actually pretty terrible when you click it over to the distortion channel or the, the overdrive channel because they normally sound pretty, pretty terrible. So I would recommend overdrive or distortion. Um, overdrive if you're playing bluesy or rocky uh, distortion if you're playing heavy rock, metal, that kind of stuff. So we buy one of those and we put it in front of the amp. How do we do that? Well, it's really quite simple. You um, get your amp and you put it on the clean channel, okay? Only the clean channel. And you set it to a relatively nice clean channel sound um, with as best you can with the EQ. Um, now, when you buy a pedal, you'll have to keep in mind that you will also need a second guitar lead. So what you do is you get your pedal, you plug your guitar lead into the pedal, you plug the second guitar lead from your pedal into your amplifier, straight into the front of the amp, into the input, and you play your guitar. Now you've got still got a nice clean sound coming from your amplifier, but when you want a distorted sound or an overdriven sound, that's when you step on that pedal. You don't change the channel on your amp, you just step on the pedal. And you'll get a far better overdrive and distortion sound coming from that pedal than you will out of your little amp. Now some of these pedals can be really expensive. Um, in fact, some pedals are quite a bit more than what you paid for your pack. But you don't have to go down that route. You can go down the, the cheap pedal route. There are a few budget pedals that are really, really good. And there are some other pedal companies out there that make really small pedals, which also sound pretty good. At any rate, they're going to sound much better than your amplifier. So you can end up with pedals. Um, but if you want to do more than just overdrive and distortion, if you want some reverb or some delay or some chorus, then you have to buy individual pedals that will do all of those as well. Or you can simply buy yourself a multi-effects unit. Now, multi-effects units can run pretty expensive these days, uh, up to $1,000 or sometimes even more. But there are some budget options. Most of the large manufacturers who make uh, multi-effects units also make budget versions of those for guitarists just like you. They often only have two buttons, um, and the features aren't perhaps as fully featured as some of the bigger branded models or the, the bigger expensive models, but they can make your amp sound pretty good. So once again, with a multi-effects unit, you'll need a second lead and you plug it in pretty much the same way you would plug in a regular pedal. But you get different lots of patches on these multi-effects units, which allow you to custom create sounds. You can add a different amp type, you can add some overdrive, you can add some reverb, um, some delay, a phaser, lots and lots of different effects come in these multi-effects units, hence the term multi. So that is probably the best way you can go to making your amp sound good. This is exactly what I did when I was playing, when I first started, I had a little amp that was absolutely totally rubbish, but it had a reasonable clean sound on it. So I bought myself a multi-effects unit and I could recreate just about any sound from any band that I wanted, just with a little bit of work, a little bit of reading of the, the uh, instruction manual that comes with it, and setting it up. 
And half of that was fun. The other half was repetitive. But either way, the end result will be an amplifier that now sounds great and will make you want to pick up your guitar and play. And that's what we all want to do, is play our guitars. And a good amp sound is what is going to give us that inspiration to play. So there you are. There's two ways that you can improve the sound of your amp that came with your pack. I hope this has really helped you. I know it helped me when I first started out. And that's just the way it is. These amps are not good. So putting something in front of it is the best way to get the most out of it. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and rock on.